What is trigonometry? Well, for some, a very scary subject. But trigonometry is an absolutely necessary branch of mathematics, especially if you intend on entering the world of manufacturing uh, or to be a machinist. You must understand the concept and be able to solve unknown information using trigonometry. Trigonometry is the branch of mathematics that studies the relationship of sides and angles in triangles. But before we can solve unknown information in triangles, we have to know how a right angle triangle is made up. Uh, what are the rules of trigonometry for right angle triangles? The first thing that is an absolute rule is that there is only ever 180 degrees in any triangle. That includes the right angle triangle. So angle A, angle B, and angle C, if we add these up, they will equal 180 degrees. A second rule or absolute about right angle triangles is that the right angle is 90 degrees. So the right angle accounts for half of the 180 degrees in this triangle. The right angle is shown as this symbol identified here, which looks like a square where the two straight sides of the triangle meet. A third rule is that the hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right angle triangle. And it is identified here in this example as that yellow line. We will always know where the hypotenuse is because it is always the longest side and it is always directly opposite to the right angle. These four rules will help us to be able to solve unknown information in right angle triangles using trigonometry. But there is some given information that we need to have. We can't just have a triangle as identified here in this example with no information. We need to have at least three pieces of information before we can solve the rest of a triangle. We need to know the length of one side and the size of two angles, or we need to know the length of two sides and the size of one angle. The length of the sides of a right angle triangle are directly relative to the angle that they are opposite to. Now this doesn't apply to the hypotenuse and the size of an angle is directly relative to the length of the side that it is opposite of. This does not apply to the right angle. So notice here in this example, angle A is directly relative to side A. You can imagine as angle A increases or de decreases in size, the length of side A would change Angle B is relative to side B, which is identified as 12 inches. And angle C is relative to side hypotenuse, which is identified as 22 inches. In this example, we have three pieces of information. We could essentially solve the rest of this triangle as we know the length of two sides, the 12 inch and 22 inch, and we know the size of angle C which is 90 degrees. Watch the next video in this series for an explanation of these facts and see how to solve unknown information in a right angle triangle. So let's summarize. There are only 180 degrees in a triangle. The hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right angle triangle. The hypotenuse is always opposite the right angle. And before we can solve a triangle, three things must already be known about that triangle. One side and two angles, or one angle and two sides.